Good morning, my people. It's a beautiful day to be alive. We just woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, drank my water, and I just made myself a fresh cup of coffee. Feeling great today. Um, it's our last training day for the week. So if you guys don't know, I do push pull legs, push pull legs, and then I rest. So today is the last leg day, which I'm excited to crush. Feeling great. Guys, not every day do you wake up and feel amazing. We have a lot of days where we wake up and feel tired and sluggish. So when you wake up and you feel great, don't take that for granted, okay? It's the small things in life that make you happy if you choose to notice them and cherish them. So today, I am feeling absolutely amazing. I'm thankful for that. So we're gonna make it to be a great day. We're gonna be positive and we're gonna enjoy every single moment of this day. So, this is a dose of positivity for the beginning of this video. I'm gonna drink my coffee, have breakfast, and we actually have a haircut appointment today because my hair is a little bit long. And I know we said in previous videos that what do you guys think of just growing my hair, but I can't take it. I just don't have the patience and look sluggish for a while, like to wait for the sides to grow. So we're just gonna get a fresh haircut, trim the sides and look sharp and good. So sink in the long hair while it lasts. I am broken, words and spoken. I'm afraid I'm drowning underneath. I got lost in some of feelings that I can see never my way to breathe. Need you by my side, I can see. I literally went all the way down to the car and realized that I have forgotten my car keys so we're going back up to grab them. We're here and I'm not gonna lie to you guys but I'm super nervous just because I'm very meticulous about my hair and I like it a specific way and I've never been to this barber before so I don't know how it's gonna go but I'm hoping and praying that it goes well and you guys are gonna be the judge of that. Okay so we're here at Maison Privé. We're with Mike how you doing? Uh, I've heard good things about you. Okay, good. good I was good. just telling them that I'm low-key a bit nervous because okay. I'm very meticulous with my hair. Okay, no problem. And we're gonna see if you're any good. Oh, uh, we're gonna put it to the yeah, vote yeah, by yeah, them, yeah? yeah? <laughs> okay, so we'll, you'll let us know how he did, all right? We'll show you the hair in three, two, one. We just got our hair cut and it's actually better than I thought it was gonna go. So, not mad, I like it. And now we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna go work out. We have a massive leg session. And I'm walking in the mall and then we just came across this. We're just gonna check it out, see what they got, if they have anything nice or maybe a new gallon of water, I don't know. Getting a fade is nice and cool, but getting a fade in the winter, it's like the worst idea ever because you're walking and like you don't have any hair. So it's like the wind is like just hitting you right like on the scalp and it's like so cold. Ugh. We're at the gym. We're ready to crush a massive leg workout for one reason and one reason only and that is because tomorrow is our rest day. So I'm very motivated because it's my last training session for the week and tomorrow I'm gonna have a beautiful rest day where I just sleep all day and do absolutely nothing to get my body to recover so we can destroy another week of dieting and training. So without further ado, let's get this workout started.
don't tell safe but I'm gonna zoom out the camera as much as I possibly can make it seem like he has really small calves and watch this it's pretty funny I just did it it's actually pretty funny watch but I can't say anything because I look the same hey yo bro you got some nice calves there I know that you were talking shit <laughs> I know you were talking shit <laughs> he's on to us boys <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. I got the angles down pat. Oh yeah, your hand looks bigger than your cap from this angle. <laughs> this is how you know that you have successfully completed a leg workout. If you have a hard time just like literally walking down the stairs. Honestly, I gotta say that as much as my legs hurt, like overall, my body doesn't hurt that much. Like I still have energy now, which is weird because like in the middle of the workout, I felt like I was done. And usually at the end, you're shot too. Yeah, but now I feel like I'm fine. That like, no, 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 my legs, <laughs> my legs are messed up, but like my energy system is not that messed up, you know? Okay. But we also didn't squat. We did squat. No, but like back squat. So yeah, we did CN back squat. Our CNS is left shot. Dude, we did. We did Smith squat. Yeah, but stabilizing us. I, I, I swear to God, it was harder than a back squat. It yeah. hurt it hurt my quads more. Yeah, but it didn't hurt your CNS as much. True. We have one sachet of smoked beef with 300 grams of rice and we're gonna use this smoky barbecue sauce just to add a little bit of flavor because it's a bit dry. Um, very important thing, if you watch my channel, I always tell you guys all the time that it's the most important thing post-workout is to eat a good amount of carbs, to replenish the glycogen stores, to speed up with the recovery, and to eat protein so you can put amino acids into your body that will help you build muscle. We're gonna dig into this meal because your boy is absolutely starving. We're running on only 500 calories so far and it's 4 15 p.m. so your boy needs to eat and actually like I'm kind of vibing with the haircut. What do you guys think? Do you think that he did a good job? Do you think Mike did a good job? If you do let us know down in the comment section. We're gonna be eating now and we'll see you guys in the meal after. Do I put the thing? All right, so for our next meal, we have 475 grams of sweet potato cooked in the air fryer, so it's no oil and it's french fries. And we have ourselves 150 grams of grilled chicken. And of course, the evening wouldn't be complete without some sort of beverage. We're outing for Diet Coke, zero calories, great for flavor and satiety. Guys, the secret to a successful fat loss diet is having healthy foods and having them in a way you enjoy them. So today we made turkey wraps with low calorie tortillas. Then afterwards we had some smoked meat which was absolutely delicious with some rice. And for dinner we are having sweet potato fries with chicken. So no one said that eating healthy has to be boring. You just have to find the foods that you like and eat them in a way you actually enjoy it. Remember that eating whole foods is way better than eating junk food. Not in terms of fat loss, because calories equated, protein being the same, you're gonna lose the same amount of weight depending on the magnitude of the deficit. But 
having a meal like this within these calories, which will be of course displayed on the screen, is way better because it's much more filling. So let's say this is like 600, 700 calories. 700 calories of this much food is the equivalent of having half a tub of Ben and Jerry's, which is literally like this much food. So you see which is more satiating. Whole foods is always the best way to go. If you don't know how to buy groceries for your house, always avoid the aisles, shop around, vegetable section, meat section, and get yourself some healthy carbs. That's always works for me. So anyways, this, this clip is taking way too long and I'm way too hungry, so. My very talented sister. Very, that was heartwarming. That was touching. It's perfect. I love him. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I didn't finish my last meal yesterday. I was so tired. We've had a long day. And to be frankly honest, I was super, super full, even though we're on a cutting diet. So I didn't finish my calories and I skipped out on my last meal. We woke up the next day and I'm very hungry. So I decided to have my last meal as a breakfast meal. So let's show you guys what our last meal was supposed to be last night and we're gonna be eating it today. Guys, this bowl is literally the size of my chest. So I guess we're making some progress in the gym. Anyways, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys already know that for my last meal, I usually like to have something sweet and something tasty. So I've been having the low calorie ice cream for a long time, if you guys know, you know. But now we decided to go for something a little bigger, something a little bit higher in protein, and something a little bit more filling. So I'm gonna show you what I usually like to have for my last meal of the day, and it's good. The last meal consists of two things. First things first, we're gonna have ourselves some frozen blueberries. We're gonna do half a kilo of that. For my American friends, that's literally 1.2 pounds. For the second part of the meal, we're gonna have ourselves some Greek yogurt, but we're gonna have ourselves vanilla Greek yogurt with reduced sugar. So the macros for this thing is absolutely amazing. For 175 grams, we have 150 calories, three grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and are you ready for this? 14 grams of protein. This is literally a life hack. So I like this brand in particular just because it tastes good. And to be completely honest, I don't usually like the taste of yogurt and this is not yogurty. Yogurty, is that a word? I don't know. We are going to do 300 grams of this bad boy. And there it is. So basically what we have here is almost like blueberry, frozen, vanilla, yogurt, kind of like froyo. The consistency is really good. It's cold. The yogurt, we leave it in a little longer. It freezes. And there you go. Wait, let, it, let the camera focus. What if we get out of the frame? Focus! All right, it's not working. But anyways, absolutely delicious. I'm going to have yesterday's dinner, today for breakfast, and you see all this bowl, like 
look at the comparison it's like less than 500 calories so this is my tips for you guys if you are dieting make sure to stick to whole foods make sure to eat very filling foods and this is basically my diet to get shredded for the summer we're not there yet but summer is still a long time from here slowly but surely we're getting rid of the weight if you guys like today's video make sure to like it if you're not already subscribed subscribe for more and until the next time peace oh before we go if you have any ideas or if you have any suggestions for next time's video please leave a comment in the comment section because we made this video because in my last video someone asked for this one so if you want to see anything in particular make sure to comment in the comment section and we'll make it happen to you peace